Welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today, January 9th, 2022. Theme, the Glorious Church, Revelation chapter 3, verse 7, the Passion Translation. Write the following to the messenger of the congregation in Philadelphia. For these are the solemn words of the Holy One, the True One, who has David's key, who opens doors that none can shut, and who closes doors that none can open. In the letter of the Lord Jesus to the seven churches, he often introduced himself to them based on the characteristics that depicts his expectation and standards which are earmarked for the church to walk in. These churches were both literal churches and representative of the entire church in their various seasons and epoch of the church until the Lord's coming. In this period, the Lord is calling for his complete, perfect and matured church, the glorious church. In the same scripture, the Lord introduces himself as the true one. The true defines the unique one of the many, the one who is real, genuine, unspotted and unadulterated. This is the church the Lord is desiring for today, a church living on unwavering confirmation to the calling for which she was called and spotted by the world and the pleasures thereof. A church focused on perfecting the saints unto maturity and united in the faith. Can you see the church growing up to this exact image which has been defined by the Lord for her? In the world today, it is difficult sometimes to make out the noise from the unique voice of God. Sometimes you find that some of the expressions and standards or operations of the church are really similar to the world. The illusion is to create a conducive and welcoming atmosphere for those coming from the world. The church is a transformational agent, not a conformer to the world. The mandate of the church is to become the one true unique ambassador for Christ and voice of divine love and sanity in a depraved world. There is a clarion call for the Lord's glorious church. Join the heralding. Declaration, please declare. Thank you, Lord God Jesus, for establishing your church as the bastion of truth in the world. The church is growing into the person and character of Christ in the world. Nothing impedes the flow of the Lord's glory in the world by his church. Glory to the Lord. Reflection. God is preparing his church for his coming. This is the glorious church, the mature church in the perfect image of Jesus, her Lord. Read Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 to 16, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 27, and 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. Read the Bible in one year, Matthew chapter 18 to chapter 20. The Perfection Mandate the Lord Jesus is coming for a glorious church, matured, perfect, and holy. Perfection is the goal of the church, and this is the unique focus of her out of glory devotional. Join the impact train. We are uniquely focused on heralding the Lord's glorious church. Join us in spreading the message of the Lord's glory and perfection to everyone in our world. Kindly contact us 553 500 one zero zero plus two three three five 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 zero zero one zero zero plus two three three two four four five two eight six three seven plus two three three two four four five two eight six three seven Herald of Glory Impact at Gmail dot com Follow Like and share Herald of Glory daily on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Pastor Julius Glorified Christ Lord, Herald in the Glorious Church, Herald of Glory Devotional, Your Perfection Manual. Enjoy a perfect day.